Hello and welcome, you're watching DBM and TV. This is Mona Lisa Rambai, bringing you the solution news across the globe. In this month of May, the mission sector organized a special orientation course for missionaries who have already arrived in their lands of missionary destination. The course, which takes place partly in Rome and partly in the Salesian places of Piedmont, was also an opportunity to collect some testimonies on missionary life and on the first impact with the new reality. The first of six missionaries to tell his story today is the young Salesian, Fran Yos Tonga, a Salesian in formation, originally from Madagascar and serving in Salesian Albania, belonging to the southern Italy province, IME. The Salesian Family World Advisory Council 2023 SF has already reached the halfway point of its journey May 19 to 23rd. A journey that this year is more than ever real as a physical movement in the geographic space between Salesian sites and as a spiritual pilgrimage to get in touch with the origins of Don Bosco's charism in a direct and living way. As Father Juan Luis Playa, Central Delegate of the Rector Major for the Secretariat for the Salesian Family, clearly stated. The SF World Advisory Council's work saw the participation of as many as 25 major leaders or their delegates out of the total 32 groups and for several of them, this was their first participation in such a gathering. It is enlightening to recall, even if only briefly, some details of the process through which Don Bosco arrived at his intense devotion to Mary under the title of Help of Christians. They can lead us to better understand the physiognomy of her and of our vacation. We know that John Bosco was born and educated in, in a profoundly male environment of local ecclesial tradition and family piety. Suffice it to recall the event of October 1835, when a few days after receiving the cassock and on the eve of leaving for the seminary, Mama Margarita called him aside and gave him that memorable advice. When you came into the world, I consecrated you to the Blessed Virgin. When you began your studies, I recommended your devotion to this mother of ours. Now, I recommend you to be all hers, love Mary's devoted companions, and if you become a priest, she always recommends and propagates the devotion of Mary. On 21st May, several thousand young people from Salishan Works and members of the Salishan family of Goma and Shasha participated in the pilgrimage in honor of Mary Help of Christians organized by the AFC East delegation. Starting from the main road of the city, the pilgrims walked about two kilometers praying the rosary and carrying an image of Mary Help of Christians. Once in the internal courtyard of the Salishan house, Bosolak, Father Godia Shibangu, provincial delegate of AFC East, presided over the Eucharist. During his homily, he reminded the participants that walking with Mary as well we did this morning has a meaning for us. It is a testimony that we have given with Mary through this pilgrimage. There are three essentials to note. The pilgrimage as a symbol of purification, pilgrimage as a gift of forgiveness and pilgrimage as entrustment to Mary. On 12th and 13th May, the Southern Zone Regional Federation of Past Pupils of Don Bosco celebrated the Federal Assembly in the Salesian College of Las Palmas in Gran Canaria due to the centenary of the presence of a family Salesian. The first day began with the greeting of the President, Father George Pirto Aparicio, and the Provincial Delegate for the Salesian family, Father Luis Fernando Alvarez. After the prayer and the words of the President of, of the Past Pupils of Las Palmas, Father Gaspar Sarmiento, the presidential table was set up. After the presentation of information, reports and reports, it was the turn of the young people, Pablo Curvas, president of the Granada Association, together with Carmen Gomez, who presented the report and the news of the youth groups of the past pupils and the regional youth meeting held during the month of October in Pozo Blanco. Subsequently, the extraordinary assembly took place, where applications for the silver badges were presented. The second day began with a the training theme. The ex-DB teams, developed by Father Pedro Cantos Luke, President of the Fundacion Juan Bosco Silgo 21st and member of the Confederal Executive. The assembly continued with the intervention of the President of Confederation Don Diego Aragon and other members of the Confederal Executive informing on the current situation of the National Confederation as well as with the presentation of the next assembly to be held in Evedo in June. 
The day continued with the rest of the reports from the committees, the federal executive and the interventions of each of the local associations present where they explained their current situation as well as the activities and projects they are working on. The Eucharist was celebrated at the end of which Father Daniel Martin Sanchez was awarded the silver badge. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.